It is Wine Wednesday time. Okay, so wine festivals in Oregon often feature Pinot Noir. Yes, there's for an, good reason. Yes, there's an endless list of Pinots, but what about the rest of the wines? There are other great wines out there. There are dozens of other grape varieties that we can celebrate, and that's where Oregon's other wine festival comes into play. So mm. joining us live with a sneak peek of the summer's Alt Wine Fest are co-founders Mallory Smith and Martin Skegg. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> what, morning. What is the Alt Wine Fest? How would you describe it? Well, as you as you were saying, uh, everyone knows Pinot, Pinot Noir. Oregon is famous for Pinot Noir, but there are 80 plus other grapes uh, grown in Oregon. So Alt Wine Fest is, is basically just putting a spotlight on those grapes and giving them a bit of love and attention. I, I love the idea to kind of talk about everything else mm -hmm. outside of Pinot Noir, because it does take up a lot of the oxygen in the room. So uh, great idea. How did this festival come together? So and me, um, well, it kind of just happened. It was kind of by happenstance. So we did our first one in 2019. Um, and I found that um, people locally just kind of like were. I work at a wine shop. And so at the wine shop, people would come in. And most of the people who ask for Pinot Noir are people from out of town and then or people who have friends from out of town visiting. And aside from that, people local locally are kind of like, uh, I kind of want to try something new and I was like there's so many other fun things that are local that are not Pinot Noir that you just don't hear about and so once I realized that people were super excited about that almost like discovering this these like underground secrets um, that was kind of the impetus for well maybe we'll put something together and it, and it got way more attention and um, excitement than we even imagined which kind of showed people's interest in that so yeah how cool uh, so what what wines or what grape varieties are you trying to kind of like bring to the forefront here well, anything and everything. And, yeah, <laughs> we, we have, we've got things that um, people might know, such as Chardonnay or Gamay, mm -hmm. and you know they're not alternative maybe in the big wine scene, but they are in Oregon because there's just a small percentage of that produced here. And then we'll have things where maybe there's only a couple of rows of them. Um, Sauvignon Rose comes to mind. There's there's just a few rows of them. So we've got everything from stuff you won't find anywhere else pretty much and things that you know you might be familiar with so it's a it's a good way to kind of broaden your palette and investigate what else what else is out there that's really cool yeah. and, and in some cases i wonder if there are these grapes that that wine growers are kind of testing out to see how how they do in oregon how those wines turn out some of them some of the plantings are old some of them go back to the to the 60s when the when the modern industry started oh. um, and some of them are modern um, people are trying things out different things people are people kind of want to know also what might do well because you know climate change is going to affect what goes on in Oregon and yeah. in the wild a bit susceptible to that so really cool really cool uh, so when and where is this I know it's July 17th at, at Abbey Road Farm so I guess we do know the where which is an awesome place out <laughs> Abbey Road Farm, yes. but, but when exactly does it spot. kick off on on the 17th of July what 1 p.m. 1 to 5 okay and the tickets include there's no sessions it's just that one session so the ticket tickets include entry from 1 to 5 and um, yeah there'll be a taco truck um, Ricky's tacos from Newburgh will be there oh, uh, lawn games and kind of bring and I know we're kind of just encouraging people to come taste wine and then kind of hang out and bring picnic blankets and um, make an afternoon of it. That's great. Now, I, I've been to Abbey Road Farm. It's mm -hmm. a fantastic venue. So fun. You get to walk around and, and enjoy wine and farm animals. And it's beautiful. It's out in wine country. But I love that you guys thought of this, too. You've got some a transportation option from from Portland if people don't want to worry about the drive out there to then enjoy all of these alt wines. Yeah, we're partnering with Northwest Wine Shuttle. Um, they're awesome. So they're going to do two pickups, one on the east side and one on the west side. Um, and so you can get tickets that include that. So they'll take you out there at one and then bring you back by five. Awesome. That is very, very smart for a variety of reasons. Yeah. You know, safety included. So, so I'm curious for anyone who, it, like like myself, who's like a big Pinot Noir and Chardonnay fan, like I just, I feel right at home here because I love both those wines. Mm -hmm. What's the one wine that I should come out and try during this mm. festival? One type that is like totally tucked away and fun that's going to knock my socks off. Oh my gosh, that's a hard question. <laughs> <laughs> Pick your favorite child right now. Right, I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, the thing that comes to mind actually is um, some of the historic wine, like wines from the historic vineyards that will be there. So there's a Zinfandel um, from mm. 
that history wine, Melissa Burr is the winemaker, um, that predates prohibition, which is crazy. And wow. then there's also um, a wine that's a blend of, you mentioned Chardonnay, Chardonnay and uh, a kind of a mutation of Pinot Blanc that's from one of the first vineyards that were planted in the modern wine industry out in Forest Grove in, in the late 60s or like mid 60s. So those are kind of fun because it's kind of like you're drinking history. That oh, is cool. That's really cool. I love that. I'm, I'm sold. I was trying to think, I don't think I've had an Oregon Zinfandel. So I have no idea if I gotta have Gotta get not. out there and yeah, try it. I don't it. even know if I've had Zinfandel before. So I need, I need to go, I need <laughs> to try that. You have research to do, Travis. I do, yes. I do. <laughs> oh my gosh, it sounds like so much fun. Mallory, Martin, thank you both for joining us thank this morning. You. Can't wait okay. to come check out Alt Wine Fest. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you guys. And, and yeah, put it on your calendars. It's happening mm -hmm. Sunday, July 17th from 1 to 5 at Abbey Road Farm in Carlton. Tickets available now. You can go to altwinefest.com. Such a smart idea. I love that. Yes. I love that. Everything besides Pinot Noir. Mm -hmm. Go check it out.